Hi friends. Uh, good morning, everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about our uh, regular known P2P process, but I'm going to explain you about a few interface related data and also that uh, what is going to happen at the vendor's side. Okay. So most of you aware and few people might not aware about this process that uh, we are a customer. We means the company which is ordering. Let's take it like that's why company, the customer and the vendor. That, uh, that's why I'm using the two words. Okay. The customer. So the customer is procuring the materials and um, the vendor is going to provide the materials to the customer. So in the real time, what exactly happened? If you see the overall process wise, the start of the process is uh, customer is going to create a purchase order. So it might have a purchase requisition, RFQ, all we discussed in multiple uh, things. So finally, the purchase order is the external document. That's why I highlighted that purchase order is created by the customer and uh, via output type, okay, via output type, the message type what D E R S. Okay, I can show you in the system. So even in our IDOC course also I explained about these uh, IDOC message types. IDOC type is different. IDOC message type is different. So for example here IDOC type is what D E R S zero five, and here it is um, so delivery zero three. Okay, that also we can check it for DESA DV what is available. So technical things we can see later and let's try to understand uh, what the business process and how is going to happen. So purchase order is created by the customer and uh, then the PO form and they can send the PO form via email or else they can uh, send the form. Mostly nowadays everything is uh, fax also. I'm not seeing any companies are using either they use email and uh, PO form will be via email and the details EDI that what ERS we send the purchase order. So once the purchase order uh, details are reached to the vendor and vendor will has create that uh, information, either they create manual or else they would have any system. They, there is no rule that all vendors should use SAP, right? They can use any of their uh, system. Okay. So they create a sales order with reference to purchase order. That's why whenever you see a sales order, there is a purchase order number also will be there. I'm going to show in the system and also how, where you can see the purchase order number and also in which table it is going to store it. Okay. So now you are going to uh, check that one. Sales order is created with reference to purchase order and the material and all. Here, the customer material they will store and based on the customer material linkage because this one they create as a uh, customer material, customer info record, everything will be available at the vendor side, but still they will use their own material code. Okay. So once the sales order is created, they create outbound delivery. If they're using SAP and there is output type called LAVA, which will send the uh, outbound shipping notification. If they are not using SAP, if they are using any other ERP system, then they create in their system outbound delivery. And uh, based on that outbound delivery, they will send the information to SAP. That will be created as inbound delivery. We call it advanced shipping notification. We can see under purchase order confirmation tab, what is the quantity and when they are going to send all the information will be stored. Okay, so in SAP, it will be created with inbound IDOC type, DE, IDOC message type, DESADV. Okay, so with this message type, inbound delivery will be created automatically. So once inbound delivery is available and the, our, uh, the customer will have information that when the goods are going to be available and all. Here I have given the error marks only to you understand that this is our sequence. Okay, these are all happening at the vendor level. Okay, I gave this different color for the, these two because these two are interfaces, okay, the interface data. And here I gave the dotted color, uh, dotted uh, things only to make you to understand that once the goods issue is posted at the vendor level, they will print one packing slip and invoice copy. Packing slip contains that uh, inbound delivery information or delivery note, how much quantity, the driver details, all the information and invoice copy will contain how much quantity I'm sending and what is the invoice for pack, per packing slip they can create one invoice generally they create that one packing slip will be like uh, in that kind respect to truck how much stock they are going to send for that they will send the invoice copy 
So once that packing slip and invoice copy are printed at the vendor level and the truck has reached to our company, and once it is reached, we'll do the goods receipt. If you are using a warehouse management, you will do the put away and printing a storage unit or a transfer order and the put it in, keep it in the bin. Then you confirm the put away, then goods receipt will be there. If you are not using warehouse management, once the goods are received, you will verify how much quantity is available in the packing slip and how much physically received and once both are matching then you perform the goods receipt the delivery note number you can keep it in the mico header level so that i can show you in the system so in this video my main focus is not to make you to go to the sap transaction code say we have tens of videos where i explain how to create purchase order how to change purchase order inbound delivery goods received invoice receipt we have a plenty of videos if you are really keen to learn all those things you can go to our youtube channel and search purchase order creation by ganesh padala inbound delivery by ganesh padala goods received invoice receipt we have a multiple videos I hope you will get enough information how to create a document in SAP and how to practice all those things. So this video, you try to focus on what happens at the vendor level and what happens at the customer level. Okay. So now the truck has received and then we do the goods received. After that, after goods received, we'll send that invoice copy to finance team. The finance team will do the invoice received and do the payment. So the process will be done with the payment. So here overall wise, it is our P2P, which are aware well. And uh, most of the popular forms only I highlighted in this session. Uh, sometimes you can see here, there will be a GR slip also we print it. Okay. Few companies will print, few companies may not print it. There is a GR slip. So those things also you can keep it if you want. So at the vendor level, the sales process happens. At the customer level, the purchasing process happens. So if they're doing any interfaces, these kind of interfaces can happen. So now we are going to see what are the, I was mentioning about um, sales order PO number and this output type. There are a few things which we discussed in this video. I'm going to show you in the system. Before that, I want to teach you a small thing in uh, PowerPoint. For example, uh, you wanted to keep it here in office, okay, office person or something you wanted to keep it. So finance office member with computer emails for presentation. Okay. So you can take any one email where you wanted to take it. So someone is doing maybe this one. Copy emails. You are preparing for your presentation and put it, okay. But you don't want uh, the complete things. You wanted to crop it. How can you crop it? If you do this one, it won't crop it. It will only merge, it will like compress your image. So you wanted to crop it. So what to do? Select that, go to picture format, okay. So here there is an option, picture format. Here there is an option called crop. Here you can uh, crop it. You don't want uh, high image. If you really want this one, you can keep it. Otherwise, you can just uh, put it this this one. This. Let me just do control G because it disturbed my thing. I think so. Yeah. So crop it like this, and you can crop. You don't want high image. You don't want these pencils also. Maybe whatever. I'm just giving an example. Okay. If you really want a pencil, someone's can put it. So anyway, we are going to keep it a small image. So once it is done, it's completed. And um, you wanted to put this image as a small image, right? You can put it here. Small image. So just to show you that office member. Okay. So this is the way how you can crop it and how you can do that one. The images and all will give you a certain kind of uh, information and uh, just for a beautification purpose. Let's go to SAP system. I wanted to show you a few things which I discussed in this video. I'm not going to show the transactions and all. Like I mentioned that we have multiple videos where we explained about all these processes. Please go and uh, verify. I hope it, you will get that respective information. So let's go to SAP screen. Okay, first I wanted to show you SC16N VBAK. 
VBAK is the table uh, which stores the sales order information, which has the purchase order data. That's what I told you, right? Purchase. Control F, I think P1 number. Let's go to the top. You can't control F. Go to VBAP. This is PO item. Let's go to. Okay. We'll directly go to any one uh, sales order document number 10. Display sales order VA03. VA03, document number 10, sales order document number. I'm going to display the sales order. So here you can see that uh, customer reference. Okay, customer reference. Uh, okay, in SAP S4 HANA, that is changed as a customer reference. Yeah, one of the good things we observed in S4 HANA, so it is storing as a customer reference. If you see in ECC, you will see like a purchase order number. Okay. So P1 and P1 date. Now let's go to. Okay, that is only for uh, helping them to put as a reference. Okay, based on the reference, they can uh, find it that from which they got it and all. VBAK. And go to Control F. Customer reference. You can pass the sales document number 10. Execute it. We need to find the field which is storing the the value email. Yeah, customer reference. So BSTNK is the one uh, which you are storing the uh, customer reference field. In ECC, you can check it. Uh, it is uh, the purchase order number. So here the customer reference number is available at the header level. Okay, that's where I was showing you. So in this way, the PO number as a customer reference is stored in the sales order number. And uh, in S4 HANA, it, it is stored as a customer reference number. You can show it. So another one, what I wanted to show you, SPRO, reference IMG. So purchase order uh, message types, okay, that we know that how to uh, define the output types and all. Here only you can do this EDI, one output type you can create it. And uh, that output type can be considered as a EDI. So where you can configure the output type, how do you want to send it and all. I just want to show you that purchasing and messages. In messages, uh, if you go to output control, here the message types you need to select the define message types for the purchase order. So here you will configure the respective message type uh, which is activated for the EDA. So these are all the part of our output configuration which we explained in um, multiple videos. So you can put it. So how do you know whether it is EDA or printout and all? If you go to this uh, processing routines, 
okay here you can see the trans transmission medium here you provide the edi okay in case of edi it, it has edi details okay and another details i wanted to show you go to nse go to v2 shipping output types just now i was mentioning that the outbound shipping notification will be used if the vendor has a sap system they can use this uh, lava output type based on this you can trigger that uh, outbound shipping notification if they're not using sap they can send according to their uh, the compatibility of their system they can send the outbound shipping notification which will come to sap via our uh, desrdv okay so that's the one and another point i wanted to show you we 80 one Okay, so W81, now uh, where this uh, message types are available. Okay, so just now I was showing you DESA DV. So DESA DV shipping notification you can see here, and there is uh, WE82. So WE82, the message type and basic type are uh, basic type equals to IDOC type, message type is the one which I was mentioning. So I, I use my IDOC message type I call because for better understanding, but IDOC type or basic type are same and message type is different. So I'm going to show you the DESA DV. What is the IDOC type for that? I was mentioning, right? DESA DV has um, delivery 06, delivery 07. What are the latest version? You can use it. Delivery 07, which one you can utilize for as an IDOC type. And uh, for orders, O R D E R S. So orders, uh, the order zero five is the latest one. Okay, which I used in recent projects also. So still, it is available in S four Hana system. Also, it is available in similar way. So this is the way how you can uh, uh, configure the system and what are the key things are going to happen. And uh, I was mentioning one more in Migo. In Migo, uh, if you are using IM, you are not using any warehouse management and you are going to post the goods to see pregnancy packing slip, which is given by the vendor. At that point of time, goods received, pregnancy purchase order. Okay, you can store this delivery note to store that information. And if they give any GR slipping number, you can put it that one. Any additional information you can store in header text. So delivery note, you can keep it to keep that packing slip number because you know the one benefit, right? In Miro, invoice receipt can be posted based on the delivery note number. The SAP has given this functionality because you might have ordered 100 pieces to the vendor, but vendor has given you 30 pieces in that packing slip with that delivery note. So you don't have to do the invoice receipt against purchase order. You can select the delivery note. So if you give the daily note number, system will get that uh, 30 pieces only to do the invoice receipt, which will avoid you to do, get the confusion like why additional quantity and all. It will be a great help that one delivery note reference you can do it. In similar way, SAP has given the bill of lading and other information. So always, uh, whenever you see this one, I don't buy heart it like why purchase order is available, why delivery note is available, why bill of lading is available. Okay, what is the benefit of that one? So those things you try to understand and always uh, uh, understand the business requirement and uh, business process so that it will give you respective results. I hope in this video, our P2P process only, but a uh, few more additional details we have learned what happens at the customer level and what happens at the vendor level. I hope uh, this video has given you uh, enough insight to understand. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, please provide your support by giving reviews on Udemy and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And keep helping and keep sharing. Thank you.